I am departing from Budva in Montenegro tonight, and we've got light winds about three knots. We'll be sailing about 15 nautical miles north to the Bay of Kator, which I've had some recommendations and looks like a cool spot. So I'm gonna take a gamble and try to sail over this reef. Everybody's told me it's too shallow, but my boat, I think my boat is the less draft than most of these people have. And we're only going one knot, so I'll just push myself off with the whisker pull if I hit it. What, what could go wrong? Starting to get a little shallow. Still deeper than the chart said. It said it's eight feet in the chart here. We're good, we're good, we're good. If I'm successful, I save 30 minutes, between 30 minutes and an hour. Oh, water is getting deeper. I think we're, oh, I think we're over it. So we cleared the reef, and not only that, we're doing 1.9 knots, so that's even better than I expected. We could get there where we have to go. Certainly saved a bunch of time going over that reef. So much for no wind. We're doing 6.1 knots, and there is 10 knots of wind. Awesome. Got the anchor down in about 15 feet of water. I'd be surprised if there aren't big boulders down there. Actually, it kind of looks like gravel, so maybe we're okay. In front of these caves here look pretty nice. Pretty blue water. Check it out tomorrow morning. Dinghy's all pumped up, ready to go. Just drying it out. It got filled up with a little water when I was towing it. You can hear the bats chirping away. Okay, next morning. <clears throat> here we are. The blue, the blue cave. Let's check it out before this boat comes here. I thought he's on his way. Oh, no, he's going light. Okay, cool. All right, dinghy's ready. It's a pretty neat one. There's actually two caves, one over here and then one back behind me. Maybe I'll get my little saxophone and I'll do a a cave performance. Got a saxophone. Looks like there's a little secret one over there. I think that's a challenge to check that one out. There's a bird in there too. I think we just might fit. It's gonna be a close one. We wait for the, we time the wave, we can go. Whoa, cool. It's so blue in here. It's so dark. There's blackness in there. Like light, blackness. Spooky sounds too. This is an especially big cave. Ceiling is super high. Nine out of ten. Right now the sun is only coming in from one little area. So I'm imagining when the sun gets to the other side it just like glows blue in here. I also went back and got the flashlight. This guy's crazy bright. It looks like this cave goes back further than it looked like. Ooh, cool, new area. I think the other cave had a spot that went back further too. Let's go check that out. 
Okay, so here is a dark part of the other cave. Okay, not that much going on, but pretty big room. A lot of birds. Now there's no wind at all, but the wind might just be being blocked by these cliffs. So I'll get the anchor up and we'll motor out. Like, if we, there's no wind, maybe I'll just go to the next uh, little town a mile over. stuck around a rock I was able to wiggle it free now I think there's a fort here we can check out maybe there's one fort over there but there's a bigger one on this island here maybe we'll anchor there change the motor oil and wait for some wind interesting looks a little deep to anchor around there like 50 feet so I'm gonna pass and we'll just start working away in the fjord there's a little bit of wind, so I think it's time for the sails to come up. Oh man, there's a mega reflective thing over there. I can't even look at it. It's so bright. What is that? I think this might, I think this might be an old submarine tunnel. Let's go see if we can go inside it. It's plenty of deep, obviously. It's deep enough for a submarine. All right. Let's tie it to the end here. Wow, that's amazing. so big. I think I could fit the boat with the mast in here if there wasn't that, um, if it didn't have that, uh, fencing camouflage stuff in the way. I guess this is how they, uh, Close these doors. Oh, that turns the. Oh, neat! It's like a gearbox. Cool. Pretty well hidden, even then. Oh, where's it go? Go to the other side. <gasps> hidden, hidden entrance. <laughs> That's awesome. A styrofoam with a sky that looked like rocks. Thanks for watching. Those are definitely the coolest uh, submarine pens I've ever 
found on my sailboat. Join me next time where I set this cool, um, little, this cool church in the middle of the water and uh, the fort walls of uh, Kator. I'll see you guys then.